योर क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ द डायग्राम शोइंग द क्वाड्रेंट इन विच द रोटेटिंग लाइन्स ओ पी लाइस ऑन ईच एंगल इंडिकेट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेशन एंड स्टेट एक्यूट एंगल दैट लाइन ओ पी मेक्स विथ एक्स एक्सिस तो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस वॉट वी हैव टू डू फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम देन वी हैव टू टेल इन विच क्वाड्रेंट इट लाइज क्वाड्रेंट इन विच लाइज है ना नेक्स्ट वॉट वी हैव टू टेल द डायरेक्ट इंडिकेट द डायरेक्शन Which direction? That means it's a clockwise or anti-clockwise. That direction we have to show in our diagram. Next, what they have told? They have told state acute angle which makes with x-axis. That means that is nothing but base angle. So this is base angle. So base angle is what? It is the shortest angle from x-axis. No, so see that. So here they have given seven <coughs> pi by six. So this is positive. Here it is positive. So positive indicates what? It's a anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Now we will draw the diagram. So diagram is just like this. This is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. This is your O. Now we will name the quadrant. So this is your first quadrant. This is your second. This comes your third, and this comes your fourth. Now here they have given seven pi by six. What is that? pi means 180 degree so now we will calculate so 7 into 180 by 6 so this comes at 30 degree so it is 210 degree 210 degree that is positive that means we have to start from anti clockwise this is 90 this is 180 and this is 270 and they have given 210 so after 180 degree 30 degree more so that means op is this this is your p now the angle is this from here to here anti clockwise we have shown with a arrow mark so this is 210 degree now they have told to find out acute angle and it lies in third quadrant so acute angle is what base angle that means the shortest angle so this is your shortest angle so how much it is 30 degree only so now we can write quadrant is third and the base angle is 30 degree now see this here it is negative so negative means it's a clockwise so we will go for clockwise so now we will draw the diagram so diagram is just like this this is your x this is your y this is your o so now we will calculate this So minus five pi by three is what? So I have already told pi is nothing but one eighty degree. So one eighty divided by three is sixty degree. Sixty into five is three hundred, and minus is there. That means it's a minus three hundred degree. So now we will go for that. So first one. we have to go clockwise from here minus 90 minus 180 minus 270 minus 270 again 30 is minus 
तो माइनस टू थर्टी एंड माइनस थर्टी इज माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स इट विल बी हियर एंड द एंगल विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर लाइक दिस तो दिस एंगल टोटल एंगल इज माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड तो वॉट इज योर बेस एंगल बेस एंगल मीन्स अ शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस तो दिस इज योर शॉर्टेस्ट फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर तो दिस इज नथिंग बट सिक्सटी डिग्री तो बेस एंगल इज सिक्सटी डिग्री नाउ वी विल फाइंड आउट द क्वारेंट तो दिस इज योर फर्स्ट क्वारेंट दिस इज योर सेकेंड क्वारेंट दिस कम्स योर थर्ड and this comes your four and this is your p o to p is your line so now it lies on first quadrant so now your answer is quadrant is equal to first and the base angle is 60 degree so like this we have to do it next see that They have given thirteen pi by nine. So first we will see this is positive. The so positive means it's a anti-clockwise. Now we will calculate the angle. How much it is? So here comes thirteen into one eighty by nine. So now cut it. This will be twenty. So now it will be two hundred sixty degree. Two hundred sixty degree. That is positive. So now we will draw the diagram. This is your x. This is your y, and this is your o. So now we will name the quadrants. So first, second. third and the fourth so now 260 degree is where start from here 90 180 270 so less than 10 degree is your 270 from 270 less than 10 is 260 so now your op is here p is here So now we will draw the angle from here to here. So this total angle is two sixty degree. So what is your base angle? So base angle is this much only from here to here. So how much it is? Eighty degree. So now your answer is what? And OP lies in third quadrant. So quadrant is. Third and base angle is eighty degree. Now we will go for this minus seventeen pi by eight. How much it is? <clears throat> this minus indicates clockwise. Clockwise. And the angle, we will see here minus seventeen into one eighty by eight. Just reduce them. So first we will reduce by four. That is two. So this will be what forty five degree. So now just we will multiply them. What it will be? Seventeen into forty five. Thirty five three carry twenty eight thirty one. Next comes five and four. So here it is five six seven. That is minus. Now divided by two. So it will be minus three eight two point five. Three eight two point five degree. So this is nothing but what minus three eighty two point five degrees. So now we will draw the diagram. The diagram is just like this. 
दिस इज योर एक्स दिस इज योर वाई दिस इज योर ओ नाउ तो दिस इज माइनस दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर एंड वी हैव टू गो क्लॉक वाइज तो वन कंप्लीट रोटेशन इज वॉट इट इज थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर एंड वन कंप्लीट रोटेशन थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड रिमेनिंग इज वॉट ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव सो दिस कम्स अंडर हियर so now your op is here so this is your p and the total angle is minus 3825.5 degree so what is your base angle so base angle is what this angle from here to here it is 22.5 degree and now we will mark the quadrant this is your first quadrant this is your second this is your third and this will be your fourth so now op lies in fourth quadrant therefore quadrant is four and base angle is 22.5 degree 22.5 degree or you can write pi by 8 hmm so like this we have to go for that